First, record your video sequence. Choose the right position on the tracks. Go to File, Export Movie, Single Frame as JPEG. Choose where you want to save it and give it a name, for example, Picture 1. In the folder, you've now got the picture you've just created. Don't move your cursor position on the tracks and click on the shortcut Split. Later on, you will see how it makes it easier to insert your alpha mask in exactly the right place. I'm going to show you how to create your alpha mask using Photo Designer 7, because you can get it for free on the internet. But of course, you can get the same result with another software like Photoshop. Select the lasso and draw the outline of your character. If necessary, grow your selection a little bit. Right click on your selection and cut. With the fill tool, paint it in white. Go to Selection and invert your mask. Right click on it and cut. And paint it in black. Your alpha mask is done. Go to File, Save as, for example, Mask 1. Go back to your project. Insert the mask you created below your video at the position where you split it. Adjust the length of your mask to the one of your video. Insert the picture below your mask. Select your mask. Go to Effects, Video Effects, Chroma Key, and click on the Alpha Effect.
As you can see, the outline of the alpha mask is too defined. To reduce this defect, select the mask, go to Sharpness and add an artistic blur effect. Let's see if 2 is enough. Let's put 3. For the second part of your video sequence, repeat the same process. For this different effect, I'm just going to show you where to position your alpha mask. In the first two examples, the mask and the picture were after the cut. And now, place them before. Have fun and see you soon!